Welcome on in guys and welcome to a quick little video. We're revisiting uh, GSX and the uh, editing with GSX. So I thought we'd uh, jump in and uh, yeah, just have a look, uh, see if anything has changed uh, and if uh, we have to uh, learn anything new. So uh, let's get right on and it looks like this position that we have here at uh, Dublin Airport needs some attention so uh, yeah let's uh, let's have a little look see and uh, see what we can do here so let's uh, jump in here and we are gonna go to customize this parking position uh, so it is a medium gate, so it's a medium gate, so uh, we have a marshaller, we're going to have a marshaller. Uh, let me uh, share my screen here. So this is what is uh, shown here. Uh, so it's a medium gate. Uh, so we need to... Passenger bus always. It's fine. Uh, we're not over about any of the uh, pushback, we can have any type. Uh, now we can have it with toolbar or toolbarless. Uh, let's just set for toolbar front baggage loaders. Uh, it's going to be conveyor belts. Rear baggage loaders are going to be conveyor belts. All right. Uh, underground refueling. Uh, so, okay. Ignore aircraft, so I'm gonna say it is underground refueling. Just put that in there for that. Uh, no jetway, so let's customize the parking. Let's do that. All right, and it's gonna jump straight in here. All right, so the uh, first position is gonna be our parking position. Uh, now you can move around with the W, A, S and D keys and you can uh, raise and lower the camera with R and lower with F. Okay. And then turn in uh, is the num keys. So we've got four and uh, four and six left and right. Uh, we have got eight and two up and down. Uh, I believe we can also rotate with 7 and 9. But I think one of those keys actually resets as well. Or changes our, our spot. Alright, so let's see. We are here at this spot here. <laughs> it's moving us around. It's because I've been pressing buttons here. So, okay. Right, we are at this spot. Uh, and we are going to set this up. We're going to push that nose forward. So the arrow keys is uh, how we're going to move the uh, the objects. Uh, now you can press uh, and it'll do a slow, slow movement. Shift and the key will do a large movement. So I'm going to bring this uh, aircraft forward. And we're going to put the uh, nose wheel on the line there. Now we're going to check the alignment here, and it looks like we're pretty lined up here. Uh, we can shift over to the right a little. That's looking a lot better. It's looking a lot better. Now if you do need to rotate uh, the aircraft, you can press seven, uh, uh, 1 and 3 on the, uh, on the numpad. Uh, you can also press uh, F7 and F8 for a quick rotation. Okay, so that does that. All right, so that's looking pretty good there. So that is the, uh, the parking position. Okay, so let's uh, have a look see here. Now, you also have this ring uh, around the aircraft, and that is the size of the parking. Uh, and you kind of want that uh, around about the uh, the size of the aircraft. Uh, let's see. Now that should be a case of F5 and F6. I think I maybe need to change that. All right. Uh, let's see. So let's go to the next position. So I'm going to press F1. F1 and F4 cycles through the object. So I'm going to press F1. 
and that is going to move to the stairs front. So the the object that uh, is highlighted, uh, the object that you uh, are next on is going to be the one that's highlighted. So it's going to have this box. So that is for the front stairs. So because I've selected that there's no jetway, although there is, but I thought I'd do it like this. Uh, it's going to show that there's uh, some stairs. So we've got some stairs at the front. Now, again, you can move the object with the arrow keys, shift and the key with quick movements, F7 and F8 to cycle the rotation. So when you're happy with the position, you can just move on to the next one. So we're going to press F1 again. Uh, we don't have a mid stair and there's our rear stair because we haven't got a jet we selected that it's going to give us there. Uh, so we can actually move that down next to the other stair. And we'll give it a rotation. And then that puts it in that box there. All right, so that's out of the way. Don't have a cargo loader. So it's going to move over to the baggage. So that is the rear. So let's just move that one. Happy with it there, that's fine. Happy with it there. That is the uh, next one. All right, so we can cycle through to the next object. So that is going to show that the uh, next one's the baggage train for the cargo loader, but we don't have the cargo loader. We don't need that. So F1 again is going to move to one of the baggage trains for our baggage loaders here. And we can shift that there. Same again for the next one. And you can move it just wherever you like. Again, with the arrow keys, shift in the arrow keys for quicker steps. F7, F8, rotate. Or for smaller movements, you can use the one num1 and num3 key. And again, you can speed it up with the shift key for those uh, smaller movements. All right, so once we're happy with that, move on to the next one. So we've got the pushback tug again. Select the uh, the push uh, pushback tug that you want, uh, and the uh, the set in there. Move it where you need it. Rotate F seven F eight. Nothing different there. Uh, next one, moving back is going to be our stop position. So the stop position is basically where the marshaller uh, is going to wave you to. So uh, yeah, we're going to set that up again. For the uh, that line, just so it matches our uh, parking position. Oh, let's press the wrong button here. Okay, and we're just going to make sure that that is lined up here. It's close to close to that that line as we can get it. So everything kind of matches. That's looking pretty good at that. All right, so now we've got that. We can uh, move on to the next position. Now, again, you can uh, change the uh, size of that ring, or it should do, but it isn't for some reason, uh, with F5 and F6. So that ring, uh, ring size would change normally. So I'm not sure what's happened there that's different. Uh, F1 again is going to be the marshaller. Put the marshaller where you like. And uh, depending on the marshaling system, you might have uh, one of the uh, marshaling uh, boxes uh, on the poles, etc. Uh, but we are going to stick with the good old person on the ground. Uh, so you're going to want them in line with the aircraft where you're stopping. So that's the only, only thing you need to really pay attention to is uh you know where where uh their center line is because that is how they're going to be waving you in all right so once you're happy with uh how everyone is there we go so that's working now so we can bring that size of that ring down with five and f6 so we just want it outside the size of the aircraft just outside it there we go 
Let's just make sure that's uh, just a little bigger. So there we go, just slightly larger than the wingspan. Uh, and then what you're going to do is you're going to hit enter on your uh, on your keypad. So enter finalizes everything, and it's going to bring you back to this menu. Uh, okay, so operators. Uh, so this is all new, uh, or not new, but it's uh, newer than my previous video. So uh, you know if you if you know who the handler is for the airport for your uh, airline, you can set it up here. Same with catering, uh, which is pretty good. So that's pretty good as well. Uh, back to the parking again as well. Um, so say you were to say you were to know the uh, eye care and everything, you can you can put everything. You can change like a, a bunch of stuff here, so you can. Uh, you can uh, ignore preferred exits and things if you want to set your own. Uh, but yeah, we are going to go uh, with uh, underground refueling here. Uh, passenger bus, we're going to have that as always, just because we have that's help. You can set up walker waypoints as well. You can set up all the walkers. Uh, Customised vehicle locations, we have kind of done that. Uh, next thing would be... Uh, would be our. Uh, oh, we need to make sure that is uh, set to uh, um. Oh, not general aviation, but a medium gate. Uh, and we're gonna go to pushback here, and we can edit the uh, the pushback. So uh, if you're wanting one that's just gonna be like a straight back kind of thing, or if you want nose left, nose right, uh, you can do so, so uh, that way. Right. So let's go to customize. Uh, so very similar to how we uh, set up our uh, positions of the ground equipment. We're going to have this uh, representation of the aircraft appear yeah. on the ground. And uh, yeah, it didn't look like anything different here. So I think that was, what was that? Was that our nose left or our nose right? So that is going to be our nose right. So if uh, we set that up again. Okay, so that's going to be a nose right. So, yeah, again, arrow keys, shift and arrow. It's going to give you a, it's going to give you a representation on the ground uh, how the aircraft is going to move. Uh, so, again, F7, F8 controls the rotation. So, if we were wanting to uh, push it back so that it would uh, fall onto this... Uh, fall onto this taxi line here, so if we're going to say push down the link, uh, we are going to rotate it round. Rotate it round and we'll move that there. I'm sure there is places where you can get the, uh, the uh, correct information for uh where they push them back i don't have it for this for this but uh let's uh set ourselves up here now you can also add uh like burn points as well so if there's like an obstacle i believe you can uh, also add that so let's have a look and see if we can do that uh yeah that would be uh that would be one way of uh, getting it and you can see the path it's going to fall so uh, yeah, say say we wanted it to uh, push back to here. I believe is it F six? Yeah, so F six, F six is gonna add a waypoint. So that waypoint uh, is gonna give us a a start point to to uh, push back. So that's gonna be a custom pushback corner. So if you say as as I say, if you're trying to uh, avoid somewhere, uh, avoid an obstacle. You can uh, set up as many of these waypoints as you like. Uh, so, yeah, so if we set one up here, let's say we put one right there, uh, and then F6 again, it's going to give us another point. So I think we're going to have to edit a couple of these here. So that's waypoint one. That's waypoint one. Uh, and then if we press F1, it's going to cycle to the next one, I believe. 
Ah, that's that. Yeah, that's okay. So that's going to that. So I think if we if one. Okay, so there we go. So it's going to select the our pushback corner. So there we go. So it's going to follow all of that. So yeah, if we were wanting to wanting to do avoid the obstacle, yeah, you'd uh, select through. So F one and F four is going to cycle through the the waypoint. There we go. We can make uh, make quite all points and stuff, uh, and that is going to be uh, a representation of that. Again, you can uh, you can put the uh, orientation of the aircraft F seven F eight. So if you uh, want to be in a facing a certain way at the uh, waypoint, it, I'm sure the uh, tug will uh, push you in that direction. So. There we go. There is our uh, there is our waypoint set for that pushback. Oh, it did not save. Why did that not save? Why did that not save? Oh, look at that! It's actually what the heck's happened there. Oh, that's not the right spot. <laughs> What's happened there? Well, that's not ideal, but uh, we get the general idea of that. Uh, let's set that up here then. Let's uh, just set up a waypoint here and see what the heck happened there. So I'm going to get that to push back into that position. I think I must have hit, hit a wrong key there when I was finalizing that. Uh, so yeah, let's... Let's uh, let's push it back. Let's push it back over here, uh, as an example. Uh, and you can see the path that it's wanting to take, and it's kind of pushing us, uh, kind of pushing us quite far out. Uh, and we want to kind of avoid that. So uh, we've got our final position. See, that's our final position. If we F6 that again. There we go. So we can add uh, add it so it's not going to push us out quite as far. Uh, so if we select that, select that, and uh, yeah, make sure that it's going to be facing the right way. There we go. That's looking mighty correct. So let's uh, rotate that round just a little bit. There we go. That's that's looking a lot more like uh, how we would want it. So it's not going to push us uh, push those wheels onto the grass. It's going to keep us on the uh, the taxi line there. All right. So enter to finalize. There we go. That one worked. So for some reason, it switched our uh, switched our gate there. But there we go. So that looks all as we remember it. Uh. So we've done that, we've done that, we've uh, had a look at that, so now walkers, walkers, if we are to have a look at walkers, is there anything that changed with the walkers? Uh, I don't think there is, so we do have uh, some waypoints set up here, by the looks of it. Um, so we've got waypoint one, which is going to be a start point. So let's uh, push, let's push those guys over here. Uh, so again, same keys, same keys to move things around. Uh, only this time, if you're wanting to adjust the height, uh, we are going to have uh, the Z key and the Q key. So Q key is going to raise it. So, and that will give you a representation of the height. Z key's going to lower. Again, you want to speed it up with the shift key. Otherwise, it's going to be in small increments like so. So, let's uh, get that so that is on the ground. You might have to make some minor, minor adjustments uh, when you set this up. But it's going to give you a, a number a representation so that is showing that we are level on the ground here <laughs> how you get up there uh right so we've got that one waypoint uh waypoint two again cycle through so that is going to be waypoint two so if you were having them walk out to the aircraft 
to your uh, stairs and stuff, uh, you'd uh, yeah set your set your waypoint here so you avoid uh, them walking through objects. You're kind of want to make a make a few of these uh, a little bit here. Okay, so that's waypoint two, and to add one F six, that's going to move that one. So it's going to move uh, waypoint two over waypoint. Uh, move it back a bit, which is fine, it's just so they're not together. But when F1, F4 is going to slide between them, so we've got F3, uh, F third uh, waypoint here. Uh, so we can set that up here and uh, cycle back to waypoint 2 with F1. And that looks alright there. So we've got some walker waypoints. Right, so let's just finalize it. And let's have a look uh, at what our uh, work has done here. And uh, yeah, let's have a look see. So let's uh, exit here. And there we go. So you'll see our walkers starting to move. And they're going to follow those waypoints and they'll stop. And they'll probably uh, return to be fair. There we go. Just a little person there, I think. So yeah, they're following our waypoints. So yeah, if you were, if you're gonna have, uh, yeah, have your uh, passengers or you know just the airport walkers like these, that was uh, that'd be how you'd set them up. But yeah, the airport walkers, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna walk a route. So uh, once they've gone to the uh, end waypoint, they're gonna walk instantly back to the first waypoint. So be aware of that. You know, so if you're uh, wanting them to say walk, walk back the uh, path that they've uh, already walked, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to uh, uh, make that waypoint so that the uh, it falls, it falls back. Uh, so your your end point would be your start point, basically. Okay. Hopefully that video has helped you guys. If you have any more questions about GSX. Uh, Feel free to ask them, and uh, yeah, if I can help you there, I will certainly do so. But, uh, let me sell yourselves. Have a wonderful day, uh, and I will catch you in the next video, whatever that may be. So take it easy, and bye for now.